it's Pete here and I'm back for weekly free instant tournament number 68. This is just an 8 board match point tournament that you can play on BBO. It can be found by uh, going Solitaire Bridge and then it's basically the first one that you can find um, if you're using the internet browser for it. Um, so yeah, give it a shot, it's a best hand tournament and then you can compare and see what uh, you did versus what I did. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to like focus a lot on uh, sort of trick one strategy. And I'd love to hear from you guys and know what you do or what you do differently. Um, is there something that I'm missing or something that uh, you found really good? But anyway, at trick one, I'm just going to go through my general routine steps that I like to do. Anyway, uh, we'll jump right into it and see what we can do. <laughs> okay. So this is a really good 13 count, and this is the type of hand I love to pick up because for me, this is all about hand visualization and planning the auction. You have this awesome hand. Your partner opened one diamond and you have a one, five, six, one. And <laughs> I, I just feel like I'm going to get a really good score on this. It's like, uh, it doesn't feel like it's even close. Um, so, a couple of things. First of all, if I was playing with my regular partner here, I'd bid my hearts and then set diamonds and then key card. Um, with the robots, if I bid hearts, I'm not actually 100% sure in various situations I'll be able to set uh, diamonds. Like, if it goes a diamond pass a heart, three spades, pass, pass. What do I do then? Like, what is all my different bids? And that might be a bit awkward. So basically, when I'm focused on slam, um, like if I was thinking about game, I'd definitely be bidding uh, my hearts here. But my hand is so insanely good opposite of one diamond opening um, that I am definitely keen for slam. It's just how many aces my partner's got. So thinking about hand visualization. If my partner's got ace, fourth diamond, and nothing else, we'll have one spade loser, one club loser, and we'll probably have a 10 card fit, so no diamond so we'll make 11 tricks opposite of four count if you give my partner the ace of diamonds and the ace of clubs i am now making 12 tricks opposite an eight count and they've still opened they've got 12 points maybe 11 points but uh yeah so here all i want to do is find out how many key cards they've got now um yeah so let's just check out my different bits i got a bit blackwood i could jump to four diamonds which is biddable diamonds that's not really what I want to do so usually I like to muck around and stuff but this hand the only like the only things I care about are how many aces my partner's got um, now like there could be times that uh, if I bid hearts and we find a heart fit as well that playing match points I could bid um, uh, six hearts or something like that and that would be better, but um, basically I'm too worried that I might lose the ability to, like, the auction might get weird. Like, with humans I'd bid a heart and I'd probably know my agreements, but here I'm just going to keep it simple. My partner's got two key cards without the queen, um, so we're an off an ace, so we will just bid six diamonds. If my partner had three aces, I was going to bid seven no trump, because again, this hand is going to take uh, 13 tricks. It doesn't matter if we're in diamonds or not. It's not how unbalanced my hand is. So yeah, we'll just bid six diamonds and hope that it's not uh, the two other aces. Um, like, if it was the two black aces and we're missing the ace queen with diamonds, then maybe we'd go down. But uh, other than that, uh, this is a sh pretty much a sure thing. As for the seven no trump comment, without the ten of heart, maybe seven diamonds is good. And at uh, teams, I might consider that. Like, maybe I'd need to get that extra heart trick. Uh, but here, we just have 13 tricks when they don't cash uh, their ace of clubs, assuming this doesn't get knocked off. And also, hey, trick one. I almost got ahead of myself because how lay down I thought this contract was. What I do is I count my losers. And I've done so much of that during the bidding that I've sort of skipped ahead of it. In a trump suit, I count my losers, and I think this is one of the steps that people most often stuff up. They don't properly count it. They don't think about distribution. Um, so here I have a club loser. You always count from the long trump hand. Um, I have no spade losers because I've got the ace here. I've got ace, king, queen, jack, nine. Uh, doesn't look like I'll have a heart loser, but I have to do something with this nine of hearts. 
And then diamonds, I got a 10 card fit with the Ace King. So I probably don't have a diamond loser, but if they're three nil, uh, I do. So I make my uh, loser count and my assumptions are based on decent breaks, but I do have this, this small caveat about what if stuff breaks badly. So here, if hearts break badly, I can rough that fourth, the fifth heart, because uh, there's nothing more to that. If diamonds break badly, I have a diamond loser, okay? I have this club loser, but that is just going to be discarded on the Ace King of Spades. So this is just my plan at trick one. This hand is so easy to play. Um, there's nothing that I can do if diamonds are three zero about reducing my diamond loser. So it doesn't matter which ones I cash. So I'll just play a diamond to the Ace. Okay, they're three nil. Um, so I will have that uh, extra loser. So I'll play a diamond to the King, and then I just got to get rid of my club loser straight away. So as long as uh, Ace doesn't have a void. Uh, spade uh, I'm okay because if this holds up it doesn't even matter if they rough the next one so king of spades and my club's gone my work here is done so like I had my diamond loser my club loser and now I've got my heart loser that I have to worry about but that I can rough in time like thinking about what your immediate losers are if your opponent gets in or how your opponent gets in also useful to uh, do so here we'll just play heart and we're all good from here with them just getting one trick are all good and they get their diamond so making six yeah stuff it will over rough 85 percent so notice nowhere in the bidding did i really care about how many high card points i had like <laughs> we bid a, a slam with 26 high card points and that just shows you with distributional hands how irrelevant high card points actually are but just hand visualization is like the number one thing that you actually want to care about. Anyway, 85%, uh, nice easy start. Um, so some people just, uh, so some people bid a heart. So what actually happened here? A diamond, a heart, a spade. They bid two clubs, two diamonds, and now bid four no trumps and still got there as well. Um, so I just, like, I was worried that like the opponents might get in there and bid. There's a lot of distribution on this hand. And if that is the case, I wanted to uh, just make sure I got the answers that I actually wanted straight away. Some people went off in six diamonds. Um, ooh, they did the strong jump shift. Oh yeah, six diamonds isn't gold. They can let it get a club and a diamond trick as well. So showing the hearts actually revealed information about the lead. Did not consider that. Um, yeah. And then some people not truly appreciating uh, what they can do here. Um, or like, yeah. Or understanding that this hand isn't worth just two diamonds. All right, anyway, board one, I am happy. Like I was just, hands like that, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just gonna take it to the bank. At the start, I knew I was gonna get a good score because there was very little information that I needed to know about and just go straight ahead and find that out. There's very rarely that I'll just jump to Blackwood and go from there. Anyway, uh, two diamonds. And I have 15 highs. Now, first of all, double would be a terrible bid, but I can guarantee someone will make a double on this hand. Uh, my real choices are, do I bid two no trumps or do I pass? Um, now, I, for me, I think there's a 2 no trump bid. The robots say it's 16 to 18 high card points. I play at a wider range. I play at like 15 to 19. I think you just have to get in there and uh, bid. So, ooh, transfer. Awesome. So I'll bid three hearts. Three no. We have a heart fit, so let's play that. Okay, so the people that double are going to get away with this anyway because... Um, their partner is going to get bid hearts, which is uh, pretty punishing. Anyway, trick one. What do we know about this hand? Okay, so first of all, count your losers. So in diamonds, oh, sorry, count from the long hand, the long trump hand. Uh, clubs, I've got uh, just one losing club. I'm missing the king of clubs. The way I do this is I think if I just leave my top cards out from the top, which ones are going to win, which ones aren't? Ace of clubs will win. Queen of clubs, the next highest will lose, then the jack, then the ten, they'll both win. Okay. Diamonds, I have K 
king nine of diamonds if I play my king and then I play my queen one will win one will lose spades ace of spades and then the queen of spades queen of spades will lose so I'll have a spade loser a diamond loser a club loser and a heart loser um, oh, look at those diamond pips I'm loving this so uh, right okay so what to do with all these losers so nine card heart fit um, missing the queen usually want to play for the drop when there's preempts it can sway your decisions there um, but I can't do anything about West having three hearts so I'm just going to bang down the ace king of hearts when I get a chance um, other things is this jack of diamonds lead what has West led the jack of diamonds from is it jack 10 doubleton or jack small doubleton if it's jack 10 doubleton I have king nine queen and the eight so I could actually finesse the diamond and then pitch a spade um, but I just have to make sure that uh, I've got interesting choices about what I actually do timing wise and getting these entries to the north hand um, but basically I need to cover this king, jack of diamonds with the king because otherwise it goes jack small small queen and I've got no finesse position so let's just sacrifice that And we get a diamond back. Okay, so this comes back to the question. What did West lead the jack from? Did they lead it from jack small doubleton or jack 10 doubleton? Now, there are a lot more times where... There are a lot more doubletons where West has jack and a small one. Um, also, East might not preempt with ace, seven, sixth diamond. So I reckon East is likely to have the 10. So let's just run that. And our nine scores. All right, so now I've set up my queen of diamonds um, to uh, pitch a spade. So for my spade loser that I had, my queen of diamonds is now good to do that, but I still have these heart losers. Now with these heart pips, I already said I'm going to uh, play for the queen to drop, but um, no harm in putting ace to the test. Like, look at this. I've got ace, king, jack, ten, nine, eight, seven, right? I could lead the jack, and if east has queen third, and they might think about covering it, if they do that, they've just blown a trick when it was one of my loss cases. So let's just lead the jack with no intention of um, actually finessing. But we got the cover like we wanted to. And we'll uh, cash that. And hearts were 2-2. Two, two. So it would have dropped anyway. But if I gave myself that extra chance. So now I want to get rid of that spade loser and take a diamond finesse. Uh, club finesse, sorry. So there goes that spade and yeah any reason to try and drop the stiff king I probably should have thought about this a little bit earlier but I don't really think so East has the ace of diamonds they might have the king of spades they've had the queen of hearts um, we don't know where the king jack of spades are at all um, but also if East had a singleton club that would give them six diamonds two hearts one club and four spades so if that was the case, then they probably wouldn't be preempting two diamonds with the four card major. So no benefit in trying to uh, drop the stiff king. So we'll go up with the ace. And club. Yeah, wasn't singleton. And making 11 tricks. Again, I think this should be a decent score because of that guess in how to play the diamonds and untangling that. So how'd we do? 78. Awesome. Okay, lots of people in four hearts making 11. A couple only make in four hearts making 10. What's everyone doing here? So, yeah, so the, the double is here. Like, if you double and your partner bids spades, what are you going to do? You're going to cry inside. It's just like, this person got out of jail free. Like, double's a really bad bid there. Um, yeah, so... Ah, so lots of these people played it from north. So many people doubled and got away with it. Anyway, uh, you get the ace of diamonds laid. That is so punishing. They make a terrible bit of a double, and then they also get away with it of the bad diamond laid, which solves your problem of how do you actually play these this diamond suit, which is actually a legitimate problem. So I forgot, like I thought my result would have been better than this. Um, I didn't realize there was this many people making eleven tricks, 
But uh, half the people that played it from south uh, only made 10 tricks, and there was me and one other guy that made 11 tricks. Oh no, three people that made 11 tricks. Um, but yeah, interesting hand. I liked it. And yeah. Okay, we're, we're going along well. 82.15% uh, in equal first with three other people. Now on to board number three. Uh, 19 points and a five card suit. There's a good five card suit. I'm happy to treat this as 20 to 21. So two no, my partner transferred. Four clubs. All right, so they're interested in slam. I don't necessarily have a fit for them, but if my partner's a 5-5 five, five shape, which I think they frequently are when they bid like this, my hand's actually quite good for them. Like, I have no wastage. Um, so what are my bids here? Support for hearts. So four spades is support for clubs. No third heart. No good support in clubs, no third heart. Oh, I guess I could do that. Like, I, I, I want to, I've only got 19 points, but my hand is so good for slam, and my partner will really have that. I think I could bid four no trumps, and if my partner bids five clubs over that, I'll raise that to six. Um, but I guess my bid is technically four no trumps. I really just want to show support for clubs, but uh, let's do it. Yeah, they've passed. <sighs> so, all right, six clubs would not have been a good spot. How is four no trump compared to other places? So, if someone opened a diamond and it went a diamond a heart, two no, three clubs, three no. Anyway. Um, Here we are. Uh, trick one. We're in no trumps this time, so I like to count winners. And basically I just count how many tricks could I take straight away. I can take two spades, I can take a club is three, and four diamonds is seven. And I've led hearts, so I'm at least gonna score one heart trick for eight. And I can build another heart trick uh, for sure, but I haven't done that yet. So I'm at eight tricks that I can definitely take as soon as I get in. Um, yeah. Potential for extra winners. Clubs could break. If clubs break, I can set up uh, extra club tricks. Hearts could break, and I could set up extra heart tricks. Diamonds could break, and I can set up extra diamond tricks. Um, if the opponents attack spades, maybe I can score my ten of spades. So what dangers do I have here? So if I win and play ace of clubs club, if clubs are 3-2, then I'm pretty much guaranteed for 10 tricks. They'll be able to take two clubs and a heart. Any chance for more than 10 tricks? So let's say that hearts came in, and I got four hearts, two spades is six, a club is seven, four diamonds is 11. Yeah, so if hearts do come in, it's better for me to play on hearts. Um... Although, I might be able to do sort of best of both worlds, maybe. This nine of hearts is very ominous. Like, I don't like the idea of hearts breaking. It'd be weird for West to lead top, like the nine of hearts from nine third or something. Um, anyway, let's just score my jack of hearts. I expect this gets stuck around to me. Yeah. So, uh, seven. So if I play a low club, they win, they switch to a spade, they might pick that up, but I might have to use up my entry to the north, which I don't want to do. So let's say that uh, low club and it wins, I then catch the AC that they break. Oh, these entries are an absolute nightmare. Um, so basically just planning play, just trying to work out uh, how do I get back and forth. So. Let's say that, um, and what the opponents can do to me, it's something that's often overlooked. Anyway, if I play a low club, they win, and let's say they switch to a spade. Probably their best defense. If I take it with the ace, because I want to preserve the king of spades and play ace of clubs club, I now have no entries to that south hand. If instead I take it with the ace of spades and play ace of clubs to see that they break, cash all my diamonds and play another club, 
They might have a heart, two clubs, and a diamond. Maybe I should play on hearts. I really like. I would not be leading a heart from like nine third here. Um, so I might lead a singleton heart when, like you know, the hearts are five five two one. I might lead a doubleton heart when you know hearts are two five four two. But leading from three hearts, I think, is a very poor idea. So east is marked with ace ten fourth heart. So let's just duck a club. Hopefully west wins. It's bad. It's tougher for them to. Uh, Attack spades. Okay. So we'll go in with the ace of spades. Let's cash the ace of clubs, see if they break, but even if West has four, we're all good because they managed to blow their club position. Diamond discard. I think this is very important um, because di I feel like I have to cash my diamonds now. Um, but how many tricks do I actually need? I, I could squeeze dummy. It might might be best only to cash three diamonds. If I get two spades, two hearts, three clubs, and three diamonds, oh, I'll get four clubs. So two spades, four... No, yeah, three clubs. I can't even count. Um, yeah, so let's just cash some three of the diamonds. I don't think I need four. I can let go of spade. Ah, another heart. Ah, oh, no, this still doesn't work. So, um, right. So, uh. If I play like, if I play queen of diamonds and I pitch a spade and lead a club, I never actually um, get my heart trick because uh, they knock out the spade and I haven't set up that top heart yet. So let's play another diamond and throw a spade. Right, so. North had no diamonds, West had two, East does have six diamonds and presumably long hearts. Um, is East like a 6-5? What if West did lead their singleton heart? If West led a singleton heart, that would give them one heart, two two um basically i want to guess this shape this is like awful if i play like a club here if i play a club and all right so i know east has six six diamonds they've still got two diamonds left so if i lead a club west wins if West did lead a doubleton heart, let's assume West had a doubleton heart, then East shape is a um, six one with only two spades. So if I let a club West wins, I could win the king of spades and then come out a heart. I think I can do it. I don't think I need to cash that jack of diamonds. I think that's a bad play. Let's do it. Oh no, the ten of hearts discard. Oh, and the three. Awesome. So West had a singleton spade. All right. It's all okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, what an awful hand. And we get the final trick. <laughs> Eighty-five percent. That was just torturing me. Like. What was going on? A weird distribution. Yeah, hearts were... They led their singleton heart. So hearts were 1552. Five, and having to guess what the shape was and what the communi... Talk about a communication nightmare there. But basically inferring from the lead what that actually led from. And then also what you should play for. Um, 
Yeah. Only just made. 85%. I'm the only one in four no trumps because everyone else just opened a diamond and bid two no trumps and managed to stop in three. Someone did make, um, really? Three no trump rebid? Sure, you can have your 100%. I'll take my 85 and not do really strange stuff all the time. Ah, yeah, so four hearts did not play well. Um,. People are doing all kinds of weird stuff here. Six hearts did not play well. Yeah. Ah, oh, tricky hand. Yeah, trick one. What did I do? Uh, count my winners. Think about my entries. Try and infer from the lead what actually happened. So, I think this is one thing that's often overlooked. Like, people just say that the opponents led something. But here, they led the nine. What's that tell me about the opponent's hand? And going from there. I think it's, like... Here I knew East had Ace-10 fourth, at least, because I don't think I'd lead the 9 from 9 third onto this auction. So West had a short heart. Told me a lot about how I should play the rest of the hand. But, whew, that was close. And I'm glad I wasn't that person that ended up in six clubs, because I was pretty close to that. Anyway, uh, one club past three clubs. Um, here I want to just show both majors, and I think four clubs is Michael's. No? No. Four clubs is 27 plus high card points and forcing to four no trumps. What a lovely convention or use of four clubs. I love being able to protect when I've got 27 high card points. That's just ridiculous. Um, and I have no way of showing both majors here. There will be so many people that just bid four clubs without looking. Um, okay. So, do I just have to bid three hearts? I could bid three hearts, but then I can't get my spades in. If I instead bid three spades and try and bid four hearts, uh, my partner will correct me back to uh, spades more often. So, I feel like um, if we have a spade fit, I think playing in hearts will still be okay. Maybe I could bid four clubs anyway and see what my partner actually bids over that because if my partner bids four of a major, I'll just drop it. Like, I wish you could like just see what are my partner's options over like these random bids here because if my partner's going to bid like four major, that's awesome and it'll work really well. My partner bids like five no trumps or five clubs like they often w weirdly do and we're just forced to slam when we don't want to beat out. That's kind of awkward. Ah, hate robots conventions here. Oh, good. Pfft. Well, that didn't work. Oh, maybe it did. Maybe um, this is as high as we want to go. Uh, anyway, for a spades lead, I have... <laughs> okay, so it is one of the times... Thinking about trick one. Make sure that you're like, oh my god, what? Like, this problem. Stop thinking about the problem. Focus at the point at hand. So here, like, this auction was a complete nightmare. And I ended up in three hearts when I probably wanted to be in four spades. Um, but let's focus at the point. Let's, let's try and make three hearts. And also assume that four spades isn't making. Because then that would be a bad score. So, um, West led... The four of spades. Now, East certainly doesn't have four spades. It's not a singleton lead, because otherwise East wouldn't have bid that way. Anyway, I have a spade loser. Maybe two, depending on some strange stuff. Um, I have a diamond loser, a club loser, and some heart losers. Um, ideally, I'd want to take a heart finesse, but I don't really have that many entries to the north hand. And if I, say, put in the jack of spades and it went jack, queen, ace... I'm not going to cross over to the king to take a heart finesse. I think that would be crazy. Um, yeah, so club loser, diamond loser, some spade losers, and some possible heart losers. I might lose two hearts, because if I play the ace, then the queen, then the jack, then the nine, I'll lose to the king and the ten, assuming that they don't break well. Um, if I do put in the jack of spades and it wins, I'm really well poised to uh, take a heart finesse. I don't think putting in the king of spades is a particularly good idea. Um, although the robots probably aren't leading away from the queen of spades. Um, and so if east has the queen of spades... Ah, no. 
Well, let's just put in the jack. I want to be in the north hand. And playing the king's really catering for east having queen Dalton or uh, singleton queen. Um, whereas west may have led away from the queen. Anyway, I think I'm just going to draw trump straight away. I basically want bad stuff happening. I want there to be a heart loser. I want there to be a diamond loser. I want there to be a club loser. And I want people to be guessing the spades wrong. So east having the queen of spades, that's fine. So let's just bang down the ace of hearts. And the queen of hearts. Okay, king's offside. Perfect. Trump's a 3-2. That's all right. And another spade. I want to score my 10. Draw the final trump. All right. And now I want to try and score one of my singletons. Do I try and score my singleton king by leading a diamond to the king or score my club by playing a club to the king? Now, West is likely to have both the aces, but they're also likely to fly with the ace of clubs if that's the case. Um, but this jack is useful. It can cause confusion. So they might think that I was trying to finesse the queen. So anyway, and club, and do we get the final spade lead? No. All right, so I'm in three. Oh yeah, I didn't lose the spades. I was like, I want people in four spades going down, but they possibly are. So I, I think some people will make it. Um, but I suspect this is probably a good score. 78%. Woo. Loving it. It's going well in rank 1 of 82%. Look at this for consistency. 85.7, 78.6, 85, 76. Um, so yeah, some people in four hearts uh, making. Uh, they just bid four hearts over the bid. Some people doubled. Okay, someone actually bid four clubs. They got the four diamond bid and ended up in six hearts. Like... Four clubs is by far clearly the best bid on this hand. It is just a shame that the robots do like, the worst convention you've ever seen. And yeah, people got punished. I was just like, I was almost just going to bid four clubs. But luckily I was just talking and got caught up there and didn't bid four clubs. But this is a clear hand that wants to bid four clubs and it should be Michaels and uh, basically pick a major. But uh, yeah. Anyway, got away with that one, 78%. Um, doubles an interesting choice. Um, don't know what I think about it. Like, I guess if partner bids a major, you're all good. Um, but if you double and partner say bids three diamonds and you bid three hearts, how strong a hand are you showing? Or if partner bids three no trumps and then you bid four hearts over it, how big a hand is that showing? I, it, like, lots of issues here about trying not knowing how the robot actually continues. Anyway, definitely take seventy eight. 0.6% there. No one got to four spades and played in their 5-3 uh, fit. But yeah, alright. Moving on. Halfway through, and now we're on to board number 5. 12, 15, 17 bagger. Ooh. Super accept. Did I show a maximum? Yeah. No, oh, my partner still declined. Um, so yeah, jumping here just showed uh, four card support and a maximum. And it looks like I'll probably just go off in three spades now. Okay, making a plan. So plan from the long trump hands. This is something everyone does wrong. They always just like plan from their hand. Um, but here, look at my partner's hand. Um, we may have one spade loser. We've got three heart losers we have to deal with. Where the ace will win, the jack won't, the nine won't, the five won't. So we've got three heart losers to deal with we have two club losers we have a diamond loser so what do we want to do with all of those okay so uh with spades i could play for spades to be two two and the queen to drop um i'm definitely going to lose two clubs i can possibly rough my final two hearts and lose one heart two clubs and one diamond I could possibly get rid of a diamond on a good club eventually, but like, there's no guarantee that my clubs are going to set up. Uh, the opponents might get in and play clubs or diamonds for me, which may get rid of my loser. Anyway, uh, the first question is, should I stick in this 9? Um, 
So basically that would be playing west to have led away from the 10. If I play low, that's not technically good, but if East doesn't think to put in like the eight, eight of hearts or something, um, that might be better, but it feels like putting in the nine. All right, so if I play the ace-king of spades and spades are 2-2, two, two, that's okay. But if spades are 3-1, that's not quite pretty, that pretty, because I want to be able to rough hearts and other things. I think I might just play a club for now, see what the, the opponents do. Ooh, they flew king, that's good. Another heart. Ace of clubs. All right, so they've set up a club for and the king of hearts. That is almost certainly like the eight of hearts I haven't seen yet. West has that. I can rough it low, but I, the seven of spades is better anyway. All right, so that's all good. Um, so that jack of hearts is now a winner. And I got this queen of clubs to pitch a diamond. Uh, now just to test if the uh, queen of spades falls. And it does. Okay, and we want to draw all the trumps first, because I've still got this Ace of Diamonds entry. So let's play a diamond over. Queen of Clubs pitching that diamond, and we are good. Under bid. <laughs> uh, 100%. This is going really well, I love this. Just look how much focusing at trick one is actually valuable here. Um, but yeah, realizing that if spades are 2-2, drawing trumps, awesome idea, but if spades are 3-1, not the best. Again, re looking at the lead, they led to two of hearts, so West doesn't have, well, shouldn't have a doubleton. The robots do occasionally lead low from a doubleton, but let's just scrap that. Most human players don't unless they do like Polish leading style and they tell you about it. Um, yeah, so three spades, ten tricks. Uh, the robots obviously defended that really poorly, but I think the key here was not rushing to draw trumps because when they're 3-1, there's lots of different things that I wanted to do. So I felt like just playing one round of clubs early might just open up my options for doing things because I wasn't worried about West being able to overrough me in hearts. If I had got like the eight of hearts lead or something like that, I'd be more worried about that and probably would have drawn trumps first, but with the two of hearts... I didn't think it was a concern. If clubs are sort of getting roughed or something, it means that they, I'll be able to pitch a diamond. So again, not worried there. If they switch to a diamond, that's the time to draw trumps. Anyway, it, yeah, so three boards doing awesome. Like three boards to go. Awesome. Uh, okay, 10, 13 points, seven card heart suit. Uh, Favorable vulnerability, they've opened. I'm just happy to put in four hearts and get doubled there. Is that a penalty double or a takeout double? 13 plus high card points, 14 plus total points. All right, jackpot. Um, down one. Uh, I don't know if that's a jackpot or not, but um, Queen of Clubs lead. Okay. Um, so, counting losers, always important. I've got no heart losers, because I've got 11 hearts. I've got two spade losers. I have two diamond losers. The ace and the th will beat the king. The queen will win. The three will lose. And i got a club loser. People often just think, hey, I've only got one diamond loser, because they can rough. I like to count first up that I have that. Anyway, I've got this club loser. Um, now, basically, I'm going to go one down, unless I get the opponents to play, like, club club, or... Like, not cash out. Like, if the opponents cash out, I'm down. If they don't cash out, I'm probably okay. Um, I could duck this first club and... Like, I, I know East has the ace of clubs. If I duck the first club, what's West do then? Or is it better for me to put the king on, East to win, and try and give their partner a rough? I feel like ducking the first club could work, but it's not very clear. Both, both have some upshot. Um... If I want to take the roughing hook, what are my entries? So let's say I duck a club and say they played spade, spade, and a heart. Um, 
I guess I would be able to cross the ten of hearts, roughing hook, cross to the eight of hearts, pitch. Oh, if they cash two spades, I'm down. So I really need them to um, play club club. And it feels like East returning a club might be the most likely option. I feel like if West wins it, they're not playing a club. Ace of spades. Diamond. All right. Again, interesting options. I don't want them to cash a spade. If I play a low diamond, what are they going to do? If I put the king on, West wins and they almost certainly play a spade. If I duck this, I create myself extra diamond lizard, but I can surely deal with that later. So I'm going to duck this. Hopefully East can win and choose to try and give their partner a rough. No, they played the spade. Diamond, I get to rough that and draw trumps. Interesting hand about like here I was always sort of doomed. I feel like this should be a good board, but like the opponents certainly have four spades on. They have like no losers. I've got like a diamond loser. They have probably a club loser. 100%. Really? What? Why did I get 100% for like what I thought was normal? Three hearts, one heart. People, like, look at this. People don't understand the concept of like pressure bids. You just let the opponents in. Here, like, four hearts is where I want to play most of the time and it puts the opponents under pressure. I would, I would not double with the West Hand. I would probably just bid four spades, but it definitely gives them this really big issue. Was I the only person that bid four hearts? Ooh, no. Double pass pass redouble. <laughs> they had their equal top and they turned it into uh, below average. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> See, I thought like four hearts, such a practical bid. Like, Favorable vulnerability, good seven card suit. It's just where you want to do. And look at these pressure bids that just win you a lot. This is just like all like going so well. Running at 88% after six boards. <laughs> Two boards to go. Um, 11 points and pretty rubbish hand. Um, we are vulnerable. I could consider passing this. If I do, it's probably going to get passed in. I think that's a fair thing to do. I have usually been an advocate of opening these sorts of hands and trying to win the part score, but I'm doing so well. I think sticking to the normal and just passing this. Two diamonds, weak two. Can I make a takeout double? Yeah. All right, that works. Two spades. Penalty double. Yuck. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> that worked out really, really poorly. I think all my, like, pass was my marginal call. Do I open it or not? But reopening with a double seems absolutely clear here. And we just get savaged here. All right. Um, what's my goal? That's always useful to work out. Um, I, all right. So let's make a plan from my partner's hand, which is the long trumps. We've got... Uh, three diamond losers we got two club losers we have a heart loser and we have some spades to lose really hard to judge how many spades we're going to lose because spades are probably 5-1 west has the king queen of diamonds um, right so in this stage I like to think about how can I scramble some tricks what else can I do so I could win the ace of diamonds and lead a club West probably has a singleton spade, so I'm not too worried about them roughing anything else. I think clubs are probably breaking. Ah, oh, why does it have to be this hand? Okay, 
I think I'm just going to win and pull a club. So this isn't like... This is a clear sign that I'm going to mess up this hand because I don't have like this solid plan. Most of the other hands I have really solid plans. And yeah. So let, let's step back. Let's take a moment and not screw this hand up more than the terrible result that we're already going to get. If I can make this, that would be huge. But I have way too much work. Like there's guaranteed two club losers. There's, there's a guaranteed diamond loser. There's a guaranteed heart loser. And I am sure that I have a spade loser. Um, but let's say 2 1 1 1. That we, in theory, might make it. Um, so let's say I win and pull a club. If they play diamond, diamond, I can rough. So that would be bad play for them. They might return a low diamond and get a rough that way. Uh, but overall, if I can set up clubs, I might be able to regain sort of some trump control. I just, this hand's really tricky to plan. Okay, low club to the queen. Win the ace. So West has the king of clubs. And it's going club back. Okay. Diamond, and they now get to pitch a club. Ten of spades. Oh, wow. All right, so East had three clubs. I've set up my diamonds here. All right, East has also pitched their club. So West has six diamonds, three clubs, a stiff spade, so they've got three hearts. All right, East has king, eight, seven of spades. So let's just put the queen on. And they let me buy that there. All right. Um, so I've lost three tricks. I've still got the ace of hearts to lose for sure. <sighs> right. So if I play the king of hearts and they win, what can ace do? So let's say... I feel like I want to play a diamond. If ace roughs, I can over rough. Oh, if... East roughs, do I over rough? Maybe I should knock out the hard ace first. If I knock out that, but then my entries to that north hand are bad. I'm just going to do that and pitch A. This is a good question of what to discard. Let's try a hard. Oh, wow. Oops. Ah, oh, I miscounted there. That was bad. <laughs> uh. Right. Ace of diamonds. Yeah. Like, why did I think those diamonds were good? Hmm. All right. Well, let's win this and then just give up a heart trick. They win. They return a heart. So I rough that. So that's uh, all the hearts. Now. East only has spades left. I've got four tricks. I can get another two with my ace nine of spades. Um. I'm only getting those two tricks. Seventeen percent. I feel like maybe I could have got out for down one. And that would have got me up to forty two percent. I knew I was getting a terrible score. I hadn't planned it and then I missed that. Queen of Diamonds. Down one, like look at that. I could have twenty five percent there, like by the way, uh, so people that open one club and it goes two diamonds, pass, pass. I'd still probably <laughs> reopen with a double, but maybe not with ace doubleton because my partner uh, won't have a trap pass that often. But um, here, like reopening with a double is just clear, but it gets you into a terrible spot this time. But well worth it in the long run. 
But let's see, where did I go wrong? Besides, in, like, I go, I think the bidding is sound. Terrible spot, but uh, yeah. So diamond lead going up with the ace. Hey, I have to lead a heart to the king. Okay, so if I lead a heart and just try and get lots of roughs in the north hand, then I can actually score an extra trick, I guess. Um, okay. Um, just sort of like trying to scramble some tricks by roughing rather than ever gaining control back. I don't know if that's clear to do. Anyway, I'll take my 17.9%. Still winning on 78. One board to go. But boy, did that ruin my awesome score. I was like loving that. Pass, pass, pass to me. 6, 4, 12 count. One heart. Two clubs, two hearts. Okay, so I'll pass and then compete to three hearts. Oh, my partner competed to three hearts. I still don't think we've got four hearts on, so I'll pass. Six fours do have awesome playing strength, and my partner's hand is really good, such that four hearts is probably on. Um, so, counting my losers, I have three spade losers. The ace then will win, and then those three are losers. I've got two club losers. Basically, I want to... I'm going to lose my two clubs, and then I'll draw trumps, and play ace of spades, spade towards the queen, expecting ace to have the king. Even if they're not, I can rough my final two spades anyway. Four plus 170. If trumps are three nil, that's something I actually have to give good consideration to. Um, but for the most part, it'll be okay. Oh, spade discard. Destroy a trump. Okay. Another one. Um... Yeah, so ace of spades and a low spade. Only a real chance of an extra trick was if West had a singleton king. So my queen's good. And rough that. I think this will be like a 48% board. Some people might bid game, which would be really weird. But other than that, just getting to three hearts is pretty normal. 67. Okay, I'm terrible at guessing that. Lots of people let four... Diamonds doubled? How did they get to four diamonds doubled? There we go. Um, like, I just opened one heart and the opponent's been on from there. Um, maybe they... I wish it let me see. Anyway, finished on 76.79%. Uh, Only had one blemish. <laughs> And 67.9 was my second worst board. So overall, awesome one. And I think this just really shows that if you take some time at trick one and actually make a plan, that really good things can happen. But loved these boards. It was good hand evaluation. Um, lots of, like, boy, was board three like a nightmare for, like, entry issues and things like that. But I really loved it. Hope you enjoyed these um, the weekly free instant tournament. Love to hear how you went. Um, also, let me know what your thoughts about what you like to count at trick one. Is there something that I missed? And, like, board seven, should I have got it right? Let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.